the chair that I'm sitting in is the new um, new chair huh? that we've been working for the last two years. And in Spanish, we will call it a row. <laughs> That's the name that we wanted. It's like taking a break, you know. I like this idea that, um, for instance, and use Danish words. It continues this philosophy of thinking on trying to create with the minimum, the maximum on all the levels. It means that the first thing of all is like, this is not just designed to reach a form or it's not designed just, okay, let's make something sculptural like that and make something that really attracts the attention of a lot of people and so, no, 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 no. It was, it's not a, it's not a piece that want to scream, first of all. It's a piece that is thought from the beginning from the idea of simplicity. The funny thing is that <laughs> when I got the, uh, the brief from Fritz Hansen, they were just telling me to do a comfortable seat. They wanted to have a comfortable seat. So that's really, I mean, you can imagine a comfortable seat, what is it? Fritz Hansen company started by creating design, important design. So for me, this was a real exercise of design and creativity. So to sit down, let's think about a seat, a comfortable seat. That was the beginning of the brief. The type of chair that I wanted was a chair that has the position, the comfort, the slimness, the lightness, at the same time, the capacity to say, come here, sit down and relax. When you see this form that is very anatomical, it reminds to the, um, the body, you know, of this neck and the shoulder and this, you know, little back that comes down again. And then those legs that really refinely in aluminium, they just melt, you know, together with the shell. All these applications can only be possible if there's an expertise behind. Fritz Hansen is the best doing upholster chairs. You know, they're very good. They're very good at making the most complex shells. So I challenged the company. I just said, let's make it even more difficult than what you got. Let's make it that the shell goes inside and then it goes outside. Then it goes round like this. Then from the top, it goes round. From the back, it goes round. From the side, it goes round. So, I mean, this is the biggest nightmare equation to somebody who does upholstery. I think with this chair, the first thing people will appreciate is like quality. They will go, hey, this is well stitched all over. There's not a read anywhere. It's all flat and set, you know, and all perfectly done, all stitched in the right way, with the right detail. And this is where the things get beautiful. This is where the things get into their splendor, you know. They go from the idea to the function, and then they end up with the quality on those little hand and elaborated details that make something unique. So when you see it, I don't know, in the lobby of an hotel, in a house, in the corner near a sofa, you know, it has to provoke this attention in which, like, you know, you really want to discover it. This is a chair that it's about one and a half seat. The one and a half low position, then, it's a very important proportion to the way we use it. For me, the raw chair is a contemporary chair that fits, you know, in places without having to be, you know, oh, okay, it's, it's just for that specific type of sector. It's not thought like that. There's a lot of different uses, you know, there's private uses and commercial uses to it. This chair tells a story. 